Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In one of our previous video, we saw how to install SQL Server and we install a default instance. Today in this video, we'll see how we can install a named instance. Okay. So before going to install, let's see what exactly is a default and a named instance. So these are the points are collated from MSDN. An instance of SQL Server can be either a default unnamed instance or a named instance. Okay. And what is an instance? An instance is made up of different set of services that can have unique settings that is a directory structure registry structure and the services names okay so why do you need a instance different instance at times there might be a case you know where some set of database requires some kind of settings and other another kind of databases require some other kind of settings and services or maybe some other directory structure right so at that point of time you'll need to segregate those instances okay so each and every instance can have more than one or more than one databases and within the databases the database can communicate by using the database name but databases cannot communicate with the databases of another instances right so to communicate you will have to set up a link server right so this is a limitation of having different different instances even in a single machine or a different machine so when you are installing sql server you have two options as i told you one is a default instance and you can create any number of named instances okay so uh, while installing sql server it installs the default instance unless you specify a instance name okay that's what we'll see in our video so i'll go to the location where i have the sql server bits installed and i will show you how to install sql server 2014 rtm okay this is the setup.exe unit to execute it so all the setup requirements and the process is same there's just one page in the wizard where you need to change the default or instance name right i'll show you this is the this is our main installation center page okay you have to click on the installation link here and you have to click on the top link right that is new sql server standalone installation just click on this and a new window will come up and you need to and you can close this okay so here if you have a product key then you can apply it here by selecting this radio button if you don't have you can choose from either evaluation or express edition right so i will choose the evaluation edition i'll click next i'll accept the license agreement Okay, I'll just click next so if it shows any warning you can just skip it if there is some error then you have to resolve that error okay so here it shows us some warning we can skip those okay there there is no issue okay so here you have to choose SQL Server feature installation let's click next okay so this window shows us what all options do we need to install okay as I'm showing you to install a new instance so we just need database engine services where you can fully play with the SQL Server database right so just select this database engine services it includes database engine the core service okay and uh, you need to select the management tool basics okay and the complete so the management tools is the management studio and other features okay and similarly the uh, management tools complete okay so if you have to just work on SQL Server database level, you just need to choose these two features. Okay, so this should be sufficient for you. Okay, let's go ahead and click next. Okay, so here comes the instance name. As you can see here, there's a default instance. Okay, and there's a named instance, right? So the below grid shows the already installed SQL Server additions. Okay, so that is the instance that is MS SQL Server. This is the default instance. So let's try to install this as a default instance, right? It will give an error. I'll just click next. It gives me a pop-up message and says that instance name MS SQL Server is already in use. To continue, specify a unique instance name, right? So this is a default instance, right? MS SQL Server. So we have only other option that is the named instance. So you can create any number of named instances, right? So I'll just give and I can give any name here. So as this is SQL Server 2014, so I'll give SQL Server 2014 as an instance name here you can give you have the flexibility to put any name here okay so I'll just click next okay and after this rest of the process is same and for all the details you can visit my previous video okay for rest of the things so just click on install and you are done
okay so the installation has been succeeded and completed you can close the window okay right now so now we have two instances one is the default instance and another one is the named instance default instance is the sql server 2016 installation and named instance is the 2014 installation let's check the applications that are installed here in the start menu okay i'll go to microsoft sql server okay so this is the 2014 installation uh, folder uh, this is the 2016 installation folder okay and uh, 2016 i've already pinned up here right and uh, I'll, I'll pin up the 2014 uh, SSMS also here. Okay, so let's go here and let's just you know, uh, pin up. Okay, so it's right. So this is so this is SQL Server 2016 SSMS. Okay, so this is SQL Server 2016 SSMS, and this is the default instance. You can use any SSMS as a client tool to connect either of the database instances. Okay, so I'll, I'm using the SQL Server 2016 SSMS here. So this is the default instance that I'm going to connect to. Okay, so as you can see here, my machine name is Manoj Pandey hyphen lab. So I'm using my machine name to connect my default instance, right? As you can see here, um, this is the whole database instance that I'm having, right? Under this, I can create as many as databases I want. And I'm using the same SSMS to connect to my SQL Server 2014 instance, right? So what I can do is I can just put up my instance name of 2014, right? Like this, my machine name, okay, as the server name and slash then my new instance name, right? I'll just click connect and see. I am able to connect to my SQL Server 2014 instance that I have just installed, right? So I'm telling you again, this is the default instance and this is the named instance, right? Let's see to let's see to connect both of these databases from the SQL Server 2014 SSMS, right? So this is SQL Server 2014 SSMS and we'll try to connect to both of the instances, right? Okay, so as you know this is initially installed it won't show you anything here right so if you memorize your machine name you can you know just type it here or if you don't memorize you can just browse for more and you can just expand the database engine see this is the default instance and this is the named instance okay so first of all I'll connect the named instance right I'll just click connect right you can see here you have your named instance connected here right that we just installed and let's try to connect the default instance that is in SQL Server 2016 right, database engine then Manoj Pandey hyphen lab okay click OK and see here we are able to connect to default instance right so this is all about installing and you know working with the named instance thank you very much for watching this video in my next video I'll be talking about how to install the other components of SQL Server that is analysis services reporting services and integration services okay and um, thanks a lot please let me know your comments please like the video if you really like it and please subscribe by subscribing you'll get to know what all videos i'm putting in future okay thank you very much